Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Aries, uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to be for your situation, and that's okay. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Alright, Aries. We have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, we have the Queen of Wands. Somebody's filling themselves. <laughs> we have the Three of Cups. Queen of Swords. Wow. So lots of Queen energy here. Um, we also have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So Aries, um, this is a lot of like feminine energy. Um, doesn't have to just be for my females. So keep that in mind. Um, with the Queen of Cups, you know, this is being very intuitive. This is also being in your, um, you know, feelings, your emotions. You know, it's that loving, you know, caring person. The Queen of Wands, you know, that's someone who's very attractive physically. That's also someone who can, you know, hold hold the attention of everybody in a room when they're speaking it's like you know you're just kind of like fixated on them you're really kind of glued to them and what they have to say um you know again very confident person um you know also someone who really takes action who knows what they want and again you know takes action um none of these queens really rely on anybody else for anything um you know very very self-reliant Queen of Swords, you know, sometimes she can kind of come off as being a little bit cold, but in reality, she's just a very logical queen. She's not, you know, so much in her emotions, you know, like the Queen of Cups, she's able to kind of set those aside and again, you know, review whatever it is, you know, the situation. Um, logically speaking, she's also really known for, you know, setting up boundaries, um, you know, and that's a good thing. With the Three of Cups, you know, this is talking about celebrations. This is talking about, you know, the three phases of life. This is also talking about um, you know, reconciliation possibly. I'm getting more celebrations. And with the Ace of Wands, I'm getting that spark that's being reignited. I'm getting, you know, some passion that's just kind of like being reignited as well. Um, I keep getting a lot of you are kind of going, like getting some kind of downloads. Um, this could be like, you know, during like your dreams, um, you know, any kind of like signs. I just keep getting like you guys are getting a lot of signs. With the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, it kind of feels like a lot of you are going through an awakening and really either you're going to be reconciling with your Divine Feminine or you're going through an awakening and becoming that Divine Feminine. You know, one who, again, who can really review the situation logically, you know, set up those healthy boundaries and, you know, communicate, um, you know, in a healthy, positive way as well. The Queen of Cups, again, you know, being very intuitive, very in her emotions, very nurturing, very loving. The only queen that is missing here is the Queen of Pentacles. So it just feels like somebody is really on their way to becoming the Divine Feminine. Okay. Now, for some of you, this could be you're dealing with three different uh, women or, you know, three different people, I should say, all with, you know, different uh, personalities. So it could be like, you know, fire sign, air sign, water sign. So again, you're going to have to take it how it resonates. For the Queen of Cups, we do have the seven emotions. We have the ace of voices, and we also have the muse of voices. So here we have, you know, the muse of voices is a king of uh, swords. So we have the queen of swords, and we have the king of swords. Um, ace of voices, you know, that's the ace of swords. And then the seven of emotions is the seven of cups. So there is some confusion here within the situation. Um, but with the ace of, you know, uh, voices here, you know, I am getting that there's going to be some kind of clarification. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be clarity. There's going to be communication. Um, I do, again, feel like somebody is really setting up boundaries. Um, I do feel like there's two people here that it feels like either there's little to no communication and it feels like there's like um, some kind of distance, some kind of coldness between the two of you. Hmm. So, yeah, so this could be for somebody who's just kind of casually dating, um, you know, like just kind of reviewing options because, you know, seven of emotions is a seven of cups, which is, you know, talking about having options. So, um, so for the queen of wands, we have the tower card, we have the hierophant and we have the nine of voices. Hmm. Okay. So again, it kind of feels like somebody had to pull back from a situation. It feels like, you know, really kind of being stuck in your head. Again, that nightmare card, you know, really kind of overthinking a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. 
um, this is really just kind of, I can't, you know, somebody could be suffering from insomnia right now, not really sleeping too well. Um, I'm also getting, for those of you who are not sleeping very well, it has something to do with the moon cycles. Um, or somebody could be going, you know, for my females out there, you could be going through your, your personal cycle if you catch my drift. Okay, so now with the Tower card, again, I am getting that there's going to be some big changes coming your way, um, or it's already taken place, perhaps caused a little chaos, like I said, really kind of filled you, fill, oh my gosh, I can't even talk, really kind of caused you to um, really see something, really kind of either learn some kind of lesson, or see something for what it really was, and it's like, okay, so that's why that happened, you know, that's why, you know, I need to do this, or this is what I need to do from here, you know, I just, I keep getting somebody like really kind of reevaluating this situation and then you know it kind of it making sense to them as to why something happened again i keep seeing somebody like growing from a situation i'm really finding their confidence all right so for the three of cups we do get the high priestess we get the five of emotions and we get the knight of emotions okay so we've definitely got some more water coming in here um Hmm. So it does look like I said with this card, this could be reconciliation for some of you. Um, definitely a cause for celebration because it does feel like you feel like something is lost. It feels like, you know, there's, again, I keep getting little to no communication. And it does feel like somebody's kind of mourning that, kind of thinking, you know, this is over. Um, wanting to say something, but, you know, it's just not there. Or wanting to reach out, but you can't or you don't want to. Just kind of feeling like some regrets. Again, I really just feel like somebody... Um, just feeling kind of lost or, you know, suffering a loss or something. But with the high priestess, you know, this is, you know, again, sometimes she can come across as, you know, being the other woman. Um, sometimes she's, you know, just all about keeping secrets. You know, the high priestess, she's all about secrets. She's, you know, also about the inner knowing, about, you know, your intuition. For a lot of you, I'm getting that, you know, you are very intuitive. Um, you know, Aries, you know, you're, you are that spark. Um, but I do feel like a lot of you kind of feel like, you know, I feel like you guys are dealing with a water sign or you have water in your chart, definitely. But I am just getting, like I said, um, some intuition here. Just knowing that, you know, something's not done, something's not over with the night of emotions. Again, I do feel like somebody's going to be coming back. I'm kind of offering that cup of love, you know. I keep getting wanting to talk, you know, kind of reveal their emotions because it feels like somebody's just hasn't really said how they're feeling. And maybe that's why there's, you know, like a sense of loss or, you know, mourning or regret because they didn't say what they wanted to say. With the Queen of Swords, we have the Ace of Emotions. We have an Awakening. Beautiful. And then we have the Page of Emotions. So, again, you know, the Page of Emotions, this is that younger energy. So there could be a little bit of an age difference here. Um, I'm also getting, you know, there's some kind of blockages here between the two of you. Um... I'm getting somebody kind of getting like creative with it. They could be going through, you know, with that awakening card. I'm getting some unfinished business here. So I am getting, like I said, the situation coming back around again with the ace of emotions. You know, that's the ace of cups. So again, new opportunities, um, you know, something here that's going to kind of resurface is what I keep getting, especially with awakening and the page of emotions. It feels like some kind of blockage, blockage is just really kind of being removed. And I keep getting uplifting or uplifted. Um, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but again, and that's just kind of what's coming through, what's coming across. With the Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Inspiration. So, yeah, somebody's definitely taken action. Um, Eight of Materials, like I said, there's going to be a refocus. I keep getting refocus of a situation instead of just focusing, a refocus. So, again, somebody's going to be taking action here with the Muse of Emotion. So, not only do we have a Queen and King of Swords, we also have the Queen and King of Cups. So, you know, again, I'm feeling like there's some partnerships here. Um, I also feel like some kind of headbutting, some kind of like... Um, <sighs> I mean, yeah, definitely stubbornness. You know, that's kind of what headbutting is. But it's just like you're trying to get on the same page and you're almost there, but then you're not. Um, it's just like so close, but then it's still like, you know, you still have like a couple more steps to climb or I, don't, I can't exactly place it, but it just feels like, you know, 
the situation is going to be coming back. Like I said, there's going to be a blockage that's going to be removed here. And definitely, like I said, with this awakening, um, the King of Cups, like I said, it does feel like somebody's really going to be, or excuse me, Muse of Emotions. It does feel like somebody's going to be coming in, like I said, really expressing their feelings. I feel like a mask is being taken off and you're seeing them for who they really are, which, you know, for them is a big deal. Um, it does feel like, you know, they're... Again, I just, I feel them taking action. And with, you know, Eight of Materials, you know, usually it's the Eight of Pentacles, you know, that's talking about like focusing on your coin or, you know, just putting focus in some art. But with this particular situation, I keep getting a refocus. Like somebody's having to change the way they're looking at things and having to change the way that they're going to either approach you or um, how they want to approach you. All right, let's get some uh, Oracle cards here and then we will take some charms. All right, Aries. Aries, I'm feeling this one. Okay, so we have summertime coming out. And then, ooh, okay, then we have soulmate. Um, so for summertime, I am getting that this could have taken place in summertime. Maybe, you know, that's when you had a falling out. Uh, maybe this is when you met your person. You know, it's we're still in summer, you know, so we're, we haven't quite made it to fall yet. That's not till September 22nd. So, you know, again, summer could mean, you know, all kinds of things. Um, end of summer could mean next summer. So just... That's confirmation for somebody, but it does feel like a lot for a lot of you that is actually meaning that in summertime you met your soulmate and it does feel like it's this person. Um, it just feels like communication is kind of off, but it feels like it's going to be getting fixed. Like I said, you've definitely got a second chance coming around. Um, for those of you who are, were kind of just casually dating and this person had other options um, or something along those lines, or you know you have other options, it's really kind of deciding you know like who it is that you want. And it doesn't feel like a cheating situation or anything like that. It just feels like, you know, casual kind of dating. And then, like, you finally realize, okay, I want to be with this person. This person feels like my soulmate. This situation feels right. All right, so for your um, twin flame angel number here, you do get seven... One 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 triggers brought on by your counterpart are necessary for the healing of past wounds and traumas. So maybe you triggered something within this person. Maybe they triggered something within you. Maybe it was both. Okay, we already have one flying out. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, um, bottom of the deck, this feels kind of relevant for somebody out there. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So I'm not sure who that message is for, but it is definitely for somebody out there. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take some charms. Do you want to bring in my tray here? Let me move my cards, my candles, and I'm going to refocus the camera. Okay, whoops, there we go. All right, so let me get some charms for Aries. Okay, all right, so Aries, we do have the little lotus coming out. So again, you know, even when sometimes we think something is over or something couldn't possibly grow out of this situation, the lotus can actually grow out of even the murkiest of waters. So just keep that in mind. I do feel like I said, there's some positivity coming into this situation. With the little braided heart here, again, I do feel something is intertwined. I feel like this is a very strong connection between the two of you. With the owl, you know, owls always speak to, um, you know, wisdom. It always talks about, um, you know, you know, it could be predatory as well. <laughs> um, but I'm just getting, you know, again, like a refocus, really being aware of your surroundings. And again, I am feeling like, you know, somebody being very intelligent. Um, with the love message here, definitely there's still some love here. We do have the little mermaid. See, I keep getting, like I said, a lot of water energy within this connection. Um, but we have the little mermaid inside the circle there. So, you know, mermaids, again, I keep getting intuitive. I keep getting water. Um, with the little camera, so somebody could be, you know, kind of looking at your photos, watching your social media. Maybe you have photos that you took together, and they're just kind of, you know, looking through them on their phone um, or, you know, whatever the case is. They're definitely looking at your photos. I keep getting replaying memories. 
so you know just take that how it resonates we also have the dragonfly so i do feel like somebody is again going through an awakening um, a transformation some big changes coming with the snowflake remember we had summer and so now the snowflake represents obviously winter and so i am getting that um you know we go from summer which i felt like a lot of you that's the timing like when a lot of you met this person or you know this is person is your soulmate um it could have been last summer could have been this summer but however i am getting winter time for you know something to kind of become unfrozen or um you know for just like a timeline is what i keep getting um we have a little charm of live your dream so again this is just reminding that you know you still have a life to live so you don't have to just sit there and wait on this connection wait on communication from this person you know keep living your dreams you know set those goals you know set them high with the little palm trees here you know palm trees really represent strength um they represent you know uh rebirth um you know they're very strong like yeah you know, i already said strength um <laughs> but they're a really you know neat palm tree um you know they it takes a lot to really kind of i don't want to say destroy them or anything but you know they're very resilient and it just kind of feels like that's the type of person you are you're very resilient um you're a very strong person but i'm also getting that you know that's also talking about this connection there's still room to grow because see how we have the small one here and then we have the bigger one it does feel like energetically speaking uh you may not be on the same page like i said i was getting like could be a little bit of an age difference as well um but i am just getting like someone kind of catching up to the other person that way you're both on the same page so all right well aries that is what i have for you so thank you so very much for watching and until next time take care